All right, let's rank all of Marvel's Phase 4 that has come out so far. So the worst show that's come out so far is Loki. And I mean, it was a great show. It was great to see Tom Hiddleston return. It's great to see Loki's character return. It's great to see all that. It's great to be introduced to Kang. The issue with the show is that it just feels like an informative show explaining how the timeline and all that works and to introduce Kang. It just doesn't really feel as great a story or anything like that. Next, we got What If. I mean, it was an interesting show. It was a great animated series. It, it Just the idea of individual episodes explaining what if scenarios, if this happened, if this happened, how one small change could make a big thing. It seems interesting, but it just didn't really keep me in, in, excited for the next episode. I just kept missing episodes and grinded like three episodes a week at times because I kept missing episodes. It just didn't really keep me that entertained at all. Third from the bottom, we got WandaVision. I mean, yeah, it was a cool show. No doubt about that. But like... Looking back at it, it was just cool, nothing crazy, nothing too crazy, it was just great seeing Wanda's development and that's it. Then we got the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, cool show, great to see Sam become Captain America, great to see Bucky's development after everything he's been through, and I guess it's just also cool, nothing crazy, nothing that's got me going nuts about it, it just had a nice, better story than all the shows below it. Next up we got Miss Marvel, and Miss Marvel is just a really cool hero with an exciting future, and this show it just fell off in about three episodes. It was nothing crazy. The story was kind of cool, but just meh. Then we got Moon Knight, the second best show. It was great. It was funny. It was cool to watch and a nice story. Then we got the worst Marvel movie in Phase Four, Black Widow. And I'm not saying it's a bad movie. It was a cool movie. It just came really late, and that's why it just wasn't that good. The timing of its release. We followed that up with the best Marvel show, Hawkeye. Nothing needs to be said about it. It was just great. Cool to see new villains like Kingpin, seeing Echo, seeing Kate Bishop, it was just cool overall. Then we got Eternals, I personally liked this movie, it was character study of each individual Eternal and what they've been up to on Earth, it was just a nice movie, interesting about each and every single one of the Eternal characters. Next we got Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, it was cool to see Wanda go off against all the sorcerers, and it was just a nice cool story about consequences of actions. It was just pretty exciting to watch. Now the third best content of Phase 4 is Thor Love and Thunder. I really liked this movie, it was really funny. It had a weak plot and a watered down villain that was depicted strong, but was actually just really weak. And, but it was just really fun and funny to watch. In second place we got Shang-Chi, great movie, great character, I love Shang-Chi. He, he looks amazing and he has an exciting future, it was a great movie all around. Great to meet new characters, we see the return of various characters and see the Mandarin for the first time. And now we got the best movie of Phase 4 and one of the best Marvel movies out there, Spider-Man No Way Home. Nothing needs to be said, it is amazing.